my head. This headache is killing me. What happened? What is this place? Good afternoon. You are awake at last. I hope your rest has done you good. How are you feeling? I'm dizzy, confused. I think I'm all right, but I don't understand what I'm doing here. I don't know this place. Where am I? Mm, we could say that you're in Garahan Hospital, but it's actually what is left standing of it. Could you tell me how you got here? Uh, no, I can't remember anything. I don't know. Maybe someone brought me here. I can't remember. In fact, I can't remember anything. What's happening to me, doctor? Why is there a soldier at the door? Is he keeping an eye on someone in this room? That person is not exactly a soldier. It looks like you have completely lost your memory. After the 2015 attack, Buenos Aires was taken over by a paramilitary organization. This hospital is the only building that was left in relatively good shape. That's why one of their headquarters is located here. Nothing of this sounds familiar to you? These events happened some time ago, but they left nobody unscathed. And we are still facing the consequences of a war, for some called a civil war. War? When has this city been at war? What are you talking about? How could so many things happen in so little time? The year 2015 has just begun, and you tell me that we have been left at the mercy of an armed group? 2015? But this is the year 2035. What? What's happening to me? I can't remember anything. I know him, I'm sure but I can't remember who he is. Mm, I can't read what it says. That's definitely a lab. It's the periodic table. Mm, I can just about make out somebody else's overalls. Those must be that girl's shoes. Those are purple slippers. No thanks, I already have shoes. She doesn't look too hurt. Hi. Have we met before? Could you tell me anything about the attack? Attack? Ha! Huh. What was that? I'd better not bother you. Much better. It's the light switch. Hmm, it doesn't work. Maybe the light switch is on from another place. Poor guy. He doesn't look good. Hey. I don't think he'll answer you. He doesn't have much time. He's completely lost. That's how he returned from being interrogated. I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Ew. It's a jar that says me to Zolan but I have no idea what it's for. I'm not going to take something I don't know what use I'll have for. Stuff that the doctor might use with his patients. No, the patients need it more than I do. Those are white sheets, like the ones on the bed. I don't need sheets. There are already some on the bed. Oof. That mattress doesn't look good. Uh, I'd rather not. How did I get here? No, I need to know what's going on. 
and why I can't remember anything. It's a disposable syringe. Good. Could be useful. It's a syringe. Doctor, I'm sorry to bother you. Tell me. Could you tell me why is it that I can't remember a single thing? I believe you're suffering from trauma-induced amnesia. It's a condition that develops after very stressing situations. Whatever happened to you must not have been good, and your reaction was to forget everything. Given your current physical state, I think as you start remembering places, or find people you recognize, family members, bit by bit you'll be recovering your memories, and you'll be able to rebuild the events that brought you here. Could you tell me any details about the attack? What is it that you want to know? I'm curious to remember how and when it was, how it developed. Well, it all happened strangely fast. Few could react or protect themselves. How was it that these people took control of the city? Well, there was an explosion right out of the blue. Almost as soon as they found out, they were all over the city, supposedly to protect us and stop possible riots. It was very difficult to understand what was happening. Were there any riots? How did the people react against what these other people were doing? I remember that suddenly they started confronting the police and then the people. It reached a point where there was nothing to do to prevent the events from happening. That seemed more and more obvious with every minute. I had never seen anything like it. These guys had way too much power. They seemed to know what was going to happen and how to take over. What did the government do about it? The first thing these armed groups did was to take over the institutions and dismiss all the people who were working. There was no way to stop what eventually happened. They took over the whole city efficiently and quickly. I've got to think it through. Mm-hmm. How did I get here? I don't know. You were brought here unconscious. There's been a lot going on since your arrival. You're under discreet surveillance, but I've noticed the high command has interest in you. I'd recommend you find a way out of the hospital as soon as you can. Doctor, would you mind telling me what metazolam is for? It's a fast sedative. It can be dangerously strong if not taken at the right dose, which is why it's necessary to know when and where it should be used. Doctor, who is that girl? And what's with her attitude? I can't tell. She hasn't said a word since they brought her in. I tried to help her in case she needed something, but she didn't look at me even once. Doctor, why was she brought here? No, I was just told she was under custody and was brought to the hospital because she sprained her ankle when she was detained. She needed attention. Thanks, Doctor. No, nothing at all. I hope you'll get better soon. Doctor, do you know this person? Mm, no. He may be a friend of yours or some other beloved person. Could it be that something happened to him during the assault and you came out looking for him? S -s don't touch that. It's not going to be easy to take the sedative. Mm, we're a little too high. Getting out of here is going to be hard. There is another guard down there. It's the window in the hall. What? What a nice day. It's a pity I'm locked up in here. They look like cooling pipes, although I don't know what they're cooling because there's no air conditioning system in the room.
With that guard being down there, I won't be able to go out from this window. He's not answering. He must be deeply asleep, or he can't hear me from up here. They're all broken. Excuse me, do you know this person? What are you doing with that picture? Where did you get it from? I have no idea. I can't remember anything. I've lost my memory, and that picture is the only thing I had in my pocket when I woke up in this room. I'm guessing I should recognize this guy. Hmm, could it be that... Let's make a deal. Help me get out of here, and I'll help you find this person. Done. But can you tell me your name? Victoria. Okay, Vicky. I'll let you know as soon as I have any news. It's not Vicky, it's Victoria. <sighs> what a temper. Hi. Could you tell me anything about the attack? Attack? It was nothing like an attack. But there's no time for storytelling. You've got to find a way out of here. Do you have any idea on how to get out of here? I don't know. I haven't come up with anything yet. With that guard by the door, I can barely take a walk around the room. There's not much I can do, given the terms. I'll come up with something. You can bet on it. Hurry, please. Distract the doctor until I say so, okay? What for? I'm not sure yet. I'll think of something. Okay, I'll do my best. Doctor! Doctor! My ankle is hurting me. I can't stand up. Okay, okay, calm down. It hurts so badly. I must have broken something. I can't stand the pain. I don't think anything's broken. Maybe what's troubling you is some internal swelling. I'll see what I have to ease your pain. I'm sorry, doctor. I'm very sorry. But if you say it's not that bad, I'd rather just put up with the pain. I don't like to take unnecessary medication. I'll do my best to keep quiet and stop bothering you. No, no, definitely. I'll never understand them, no matter how hard I try. It's a jar filled with a very powerful sedative. Hi. Who are you? Why won't you let me buy? None of your business. I don't have to answer your concerns. Do you know how long I'm going to be here? Until the colonel arrives and he's ready to interrogate you. <laughs> that laugh, it gives me the creeps. I need to go out. It's urgent. Oh, really? Why are you in such a hurry? Someone is waiting for me at the cinema. Are you kidding me? Don't play the fool with me or you'll regret it. I'm going to miss my flight. I must leave. I'm feeling sick. I need to go out now. Okay, let's go. It's meaningless. They look like electric cables. I can't reach them. They are a little high. It's a wet spot. I'm not in the mood right now. Mmm, that's the feet of the guy who accompanied me here. If I grab this, I'm a dead man. Let's mix it all together. I hope this works. He instantly passed out. Hi. Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah. This one is still half awake. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm keeping your clothes. It fits. 
That underwear looks ridiculous. Mm, I could just hide it in a toilet bowl. But if he wakes up, I've had it. I'd better find something to tie him up with. The last one left. Ugh. God knows how long this toilet has been leaking. It's a map. This is Argentina. But here, where the city of Buenos Aires should be, there's another country. I hope I wake up soon to realize that all of this is just a nightmare. It's locked. The grating looks quite strong. It looks like nobody has cleaned this place for years. I'm not going to clean all this up. I think that a little water wouldn't hurt it. Hmm, I'd rather not. It's empty. It's one of those holders for hanging serum. Weird. The holder is hooked to the ground, and the screw that holds the tube is rusty. Nothing useful. Ugh. I tried to take it off, and I just tore off a piece of it. I guess this should be enough. It's a piece of rubber tire. It says, Ambulance Entrance. It's packing tape. Yes, this might be very useful. A well-crafted, handmade bench. Although I would love to sit down, now's not the time for that. Apparently, someone used wine to feed a pet. It's a cardboard box. I already have a place to keep my stuff. I'm out of tape. Will it be enough? It's the stick the guard had. It's a piece of wood. It's too heavy to walk around with. Good morning, sir. Hi there. Everything all right back there? Perfectly. Everybody is very quiet. Excuse me. Please don't put me in an awkward position. You know I can't let you go by. Could let me through to get some fresh air? I'm sorry. You know the rules, and I can't let anyone out of this facility. I won't move far from this door, please. It's just that I'm sick of being locked up. I'm sorry. Rules are rules, and they're made to be followed no matter what. This guy will never let me go. It's cold. Good joke. Hey, the keys to the warehouse? Huh? Oh? Well, I don't have them. The last time they were given to me, I forgot I lost them. They never gave them to me again. Hmm. He does not seem to have them. Any news? Not that I'm aware of. 
What about you? And they brought in a guy who was right there, in the farthest room. Have you seen him? Yeah, they finally found him. At last, do you know any details? How, where? Well, he was found unconscious in Sector 3. In Sector 3? Yes, ask the doorman. He told me everything. Well, I'm on my way. Go on, see you later then. What are you doing? Leave that alone! Hmm, I'd better find an excuse to take it. It's a piece of wood. Hi there. Hi. I need the key to the warehouse. What was your code? Thirty-six. You know the rules. Don't be a smart ass. Hmm. He seems to have them, but I don't know which code he is talking about. I've been told the last guy was found unconscious in Sector 3. Hmm. There were celebrations. The boss is pleased. Of course. And do you know what we are going to do with him? We're waiting for the Colonel to interrogate him. <laughs> oh, I just remembered something. See you later. It's a rubber tire. Mm, I'd better not touch it. I'm sure the guards left it there. He looks distressed. Hi there. For you! I need the key to the warehouse. What key? Stop bothering me! So, he doesn't have them. What's with you? Nothing! Any news? No, not even that! I better leave you alone. Yes, much better. It must be the only living plant in the building. Hmm, these seem to be guards' papers. There are news, worksheets, and a guards' log with names and signatures. It could be useful. I hope they don't get mad. This log has names on it, codes and the guard's signatures. It says, Lieutenant Perez, and his code is Halcon. It says, Corporal Sanchez, and his code is R. Hmm. It says, Corporal Ramirez, and his code is 7. Hmm. It says, Corporal Brizuela, and his code is Rojo. Good, the sturdy soldier has the key. Hi there. For you! State your full name, soldier. I better leave you alone. Yes, much better. Hi there. Hi. State your full name, please. Oh, I just remembered something. See you later. It's cold. Good joke. State your full name, soldier. Ah. For some strange reason, they won't tell me their names. Well, I'm on my way. Go on. See you later, then. It seems that Corporal Sanchez has forgotten to sign. Hi there. Hi. Oh, I just remembered something. See you later. I've already signed it. I've already signed it. It's cold. Good joke. 
Did you by any chance forget to sign your shift log? What? No? Well, maybe. Now that you say so, can you bring it to me? Well, I'm on my way. Go on. See you later then. Here you go. Done. Thanks. Hmm. So he is Sanchez. Doctor, I'm sorry to bother you. Tell me. Thanks, Doctor. No, nothing at all. I hope you'll get better soon. Hi there. For you! What's with you? Nothing! Leave me alone! What's with you? Go bother someone else! Go! What's with you? This headache is killing me! Go bother someone else! Oof, poor guy. I better leave you alone. Yes, much better! Doctor, I'm sorry to bother you. Tell me. Would you have anything for a headache? No, no, I gave the last one to the lieutenant. Poor guy, he suffers from terrible migraines. Hmm, so Lieutenant Perez is the one with the headache. I've been able to identify all three soldiers. So ruling out the others, I must be Corporal Brizuela. Thanks, Doctor. No, nothing at all. I hope you'll get better soon. Hi there. Hi. I need the key to the warehouse. What was your code? Rojo. Corporal Brizula? My apologies. I didn't recognize you without your glasses. Here, bring them back when you're done with them. Oh, I just remembered something. See you later. Excellent. It looks like it was the right key. Cans, paint, glue. I have no use for these. I'll come back if I need anything. It seems to be a matchbox. These are always useful. It's a box full of ropes. I'll grab one. I'm sure it'll come in handy. A set of empty buckets. Nah, I'll let others do the cleaning. I don't want to dry anything. It's just a plain old rat. It's obvious that hygiene isn't a priority in this place. Hi! I just need a flute and I'm ready to hypnotize it. I don't think that bothering it is a good idea. Argentina became the world champion for the sixth time, and I missed it! Okay, it could be useful.
it's a piece of furniture, seems open. It's full of garbage. Hmm, this could be useful. It's an oil lubricant. Argentina became the world champion for the sixth time, and I missed it. Why would they hang a blank poster? What are you doing? Leave that alone! Hmm, I'd better find an excuse to take it. Well, the hospital is much cleaner now. I hope I don't get into much trouble for this. It's a good idea. Blah, this smoke is unbearable. What are you doing? Leave that alone. There's a fire. Look at the smoke. Again? Hey, guys. Whose turn is it this time? Not mine. Send that guy over. Take the fire extinguisher and fix this. Yes, sir. I'm a genius and very modest above all things. Well, fortunately, I didn't burn the entire hospital down. Done. It's oiled enough. Excellent. I managed to unscrew it. It's a piece of the serum holder that was in the dark room. Hmm, there's a guard down there. I hope this doesn't kill him. Oops. I hope it's tied up well. It's too far. I can't reach it. Well, we are ready to leave. Come quickly! What are you going to do? I'll grab the rope I tied to the hook on this grating, so we can go down and escape from this place.
And you think that rope's gonna hold us? Yes, it will hold us just fine. And if there's something I remember, it's how to make an excellent sailor's knot. What have you done to this guard? I introduced him to my dear friend, the fire extinguisher. Ha! Huh, what a funny guy you are. Back to our business. Now we have to stay on our guard. The city is not safe anymore. What do you mean by that? Never mind. You'll see for yourself. Let's go. Where? I need to find this person. I have a feeling that he will give me many answers. I told you I was going to help you find him, and I keep my promises. Thanks. Now we have to run. Do you know how to get to the obelisk? Funny thing. Apparently there are things you never forget. It's that way. That's great. Good for you. Now stop bragging and let's hurry. They'll come after us at any moment. Let's meet there in an hour, okay? Perfect. I'll be there. Oh, but don't go around dressed like that. Or someone may think you are one of them. Okay, don't worry. Go ahead while I change my clothes. Done. I better hurry. I need to reach the obelisk. <laughs> Good morning, sir. What do you want? What happened to your head? A problem with the fire extinguisher, sir. Nothing to worry about. The thing is, this suspect has managed to escape. But don't worry because we've been able to secure the area where the anomaly was registered and our scientists are already working there. How is it possible that you let him escape? The entire Garahan base security couldn't handle a single person? Well, it's useless to keep worrying about him now. There's not enough time. Commence the preparations. Yes, sir.